it is quickened and welcome back to my channel if you hear noise it's because my cat suddenly became hungry the second i walked down here today we are going to be organizing and cleaning and getting my life together because that has kind of been the theme of police sirens i've been trying to eat a little better a little more consciously and i also bought a blender recently so i could have smoothies because i don't particularly enjoy eating fruits and vegetables so with eating better and trying to get my life together i thought it's probably time to organize my fridge so tonight is trash night i've been waiting all week for trash night just so there isn't like food in my trash can food waste is a problem that is like all over America. I read something last night that 35% of food that is grown is just thrown out, just wasted. I see a bunch of ads on Instagram for like weird looking fruit and vegetables that people don't want to buy because they're like cosmetically ugly and like strawberries that are like mutated and weird and peaches that are ugly. I want to kind of organize my fridge, get rid of anything that is expired, rotting, something I'm not going to eat, maybe I bought on a whim, like, oh, I'm gonna be that health bitch, and then I just know I'm not going to eat it, blueberries. <laughs> so I wanna go through my fridge and organize everything. I have a problem where, uh, one, I go to the grocery store hungry, I should never do that, and two, I often forget what I bought. So I put this freaking magnetic list on my fridge to help with that, but in the meantime, I need to organize my freezer for the most part and just look at what I have, make things really easy, like con Mari this bitch so when I open the fridge, I know what's inside and just organize it, clean it. I haven't cleaned it in like six months, like I'm not gonna lie. I feel like when I spray Windex in there, it gets like all weird and congealed and it skeeves me out, so I never do it. <laughs> I just have a take off your shoes before you go in the fridge approach. What does that mean? I've been trying to like organize my room and my bathroom and like all these videos I have in the works, so it might not make sense that it's here now, but in a few months when I finally edit all that other shit, it will make sense. I don't feel good about wasting food. Because it is my fridge, it's going to be completely difficult to organize or donate any of these foods. My neighbor and I have a pretty good system, which I'm grateful for. If there's any cat food my cats don't like, like I often give it to her and vice versa. She'll give things to us. She'll put them through the mail slot. It's very millennial, like no contact. So if there's anything I think just we won't eat, it will go to her. And then if there's anything like that, my neighbor also composts, which is great. She has invited us to compost with her. I had a compost bin when I lived here, but John was like, you're not very good at it, please stop. So he's right. That is kind of the background stuff to make me feel better. Anything that is in a container that I can recycle, I will clean out and recycle. So I'm trying to do this the best I can. This has to happen first before I become more conscious of how much food I am wasting. So I do apologize to the earth. I'm so sorry about the food that I'm about to throw out. And I will never do it again. I hope to never do it again. Hang out with me while I clean up my fridge and call Mari it. So maybe in the future I'll waste less food. I don't know if you can hear, but my neighbor literally just dropped something through my mail slot as I was talking about that. So I look like logic, let's get that out of the way. This will probably help like explain our situation here. Mm, a little pan up. And then the freezer is terrible. It looks American as fuck. It's awful, right? Like I don't even have ice cube trays in there, it's a war zone. Okay, just look really good in the fridge light. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my door. Um, this is just like some chai product that I got for John for like Sunday breakfast. And then we've been eating out for breakfast for a little while. I didn't get this too long ago, but if it says like 
only good like seven days after opening, then it is expired. If not, it's fine. So this is good for 21 days. Thanks, Aldi. That's these. This, on the other hand, goes. It's like one sip that no one was daring enough to take, and now it's been like a month. It's been way more than a month. Like, you can feel if a bottle is starting to like bulge or like get fat or there's a lot of pressure inside, it means that it's um, like bacteria and stuff is going on in the bottle and it's no good anymore. So I'll rinse this out and obviously recycle the container or find another use for it. I know that we don't like almond milk in my house. I don't know why I bought it. I know for a fact that we don't like it. You know, we were probably just out of soy milk and then the store was out of soy milk. I should have just waited because this is like, I used most of it, but then once I bought soy milk, I was like, that good shit. So unfortunately this is expired and I didn't use most of it. So the lesson is stop buying almond milk, stupid bitch. Same with this, chocolate almond milk I really like, but I think I just the same thing. This vegetable stock, if you feel it, Feel all that air in there but they I know that these are good for seven days it looks like we were just like I think making stuffing and uh, just let this one go to waste which is a shame well this kombucha is just expired it expired last year I think I thought I was gonna be that kombucha bitch and this isn't even this is from September does kombucha like really go bad though you know what I mean this is wicked spicy sandwich spread John must have bought this that doesn't it's not from Aldi, so I didn't buy it. Here is some French dressing. Uh, we just didn't eat it. And it expired last September. That's my problem. This is just empty that someone put back in the, in the fridge. What is going on? I love Bragg's Aminos. Does this expire? I feel like it's very natural, so it probably sneaks up on you. No, it's good till 2020. Thank you. Nutritional yeast hack. If you get it in the bulk bin, it's a lot cheaper. I do love this Red Star Nutritional Yeast. Been eating it for 10 years. But I'll just get it from the bulk bin and then put it in here. I refrigerate my nutritional yeast. So I want to organize my yogurts better because they get all moved around. And I pick up yogurt whenever I can because I love a good deal. So if I see it somewhere on sale, I'll buy a bunch of it. So I just have to keep this somewhere more organized. I don't really know what vegetarian hoisin sauce is. Uh, I guess John cooks with it sometimes when I don't know. I'm kind of picky, so I'm sure he sneaks it into my food and doesn't ask me, ask me if I want it. So I think this looks a lot better. So moving into my fridge, my drawers for my fridge are sad and nasty because things spill into them. The only thing in here is sparkling Lime, lemongrass, what is this, wine? It's, it's like adult sparkling water. I know it's been in there since John's birthday party. And John is a sober sister, so that's it. That's where it'll stay unless I get a little, a little spicy one night. So this thing right here, um, I make juice concentrate. It's what I had when I was a kid. It's a lot less wasteful because it just comes in like a little can. And I can make a full daddy of this for very cheap. So I just want to rinse this out and put in a new one. I have a bunch of them in my freezer. So I got this at Walmart. Tofu is one of those things that like we just keep buying because we're not sure if we have any in the fridge. So here's one. So the back of our fridge here just has a bunch of brawlers. I think this is technically like an IPA. I like don't like this beer. I like shitty cheap beers. I like sugar beer. I do like the imagery of like the man fighting the devil, but these in our fridge because I hate them. <sighs> but I do keep them for guests and there's just three of them, so they can stay there if one of our guests want to pretend that they like them. So I've had this kimchi udon in my fridge for 11 years. I just want to see if it's still good. So the only information on this udon packet, if you see, it's like, it just says B-A right there. I don't see any other indicator, but I've had it for a really long time. Like I packed these for my old lunch. 
They are like a great snack if you ever see these at the supermarket that you go to. The kimchi udon ones are vegan as far as I know. I've been eating them for a while. So here's all my silk. We buy silk in bulk, just like this. So it would be nice to have room in there like for a first in, first out kind of thing. So this sucks. A lot of these cheeses get pushed to the back of my fridge and then they just go there to die, which sucks because I use these pretty regularly. Ooh. This I would love to organize in like a first in first out kind of thing too because when it gets pushed to the back of the fridge and like John is tall and doesn't see it and I'm a helpless baby. All right. Okay, so I couldn't tell if someone opened this already and like snipped it and didn't like it but before the lid wasn't making that noise so this is still good to go but tomato sauce says like you can only eat it within seven days so I'll have to cook this tonight which doesn't sound like a bad deal. Smoky charred tomato, carrot, and onion sauce? Mmm. Wow, bitch. But on the other hand, like if I make a pasta dish, this tends to happen where just like this much pasta is left over and I just throw it in the fridge and then it goes bad. So this is kind of like the graveyard of these. So I'm gonna rinse these out. I need to be way better about this. So I actually bought a Sharpie marker just for the fridge so I can write like use first or use within a couple days and I think visually that will help me with meal prep to be like all right I have a sauce that I need to use. I'm so terrified at what this is. Like I said I'll have crazy ideas that I'm going to be like that lettuce bitch and then it never happens and I didn't even that wasn't even taken out of the bag. Um, this soy milk is expired, but I've been using it for my smoothies, so like, I'm just gonna keep using it. This is like in our first in kind of situation. I think uh, this has to go first because we just bought this one and I don't want anyone to be like, well, I like this one more, so I'm just gonna use it. No, we use this first. We bought a bunch of pickles from the flea market, like don't ask and the expiration date has been wiped off. That's great, guys. This, on the other hand, went bad in November. This has gagged my whole life. John. There's more yogurt that I wanna organize. Here is a yogurt that went expired in February. See, they like, it's, it's sad. Oh yeah, one of the flea market ladies just gave me a dead up pickle in a bag. Here's another brawler, nasty bitch. Put that down there. I feel like I have two jellies going right now. If that's the case, I have to go to jail. Oh God, look at that. They're like liquid. Ooh. So they're probably expired, which is so annoying because I like posted these on Instagram and then I didn't even eat them. And I remember them being good. I think I just like didn't want to waste them. Yeah, didn't want to waste them. So I didn't want to eat them. And now they're expired, so I'm wasting them. This peanut butter went bad last August. I just know this is really old. Here's two different Italian dressings. John, and they're at the same level. And they both go bad in July. All right, well, we know we have these. This I just know is done with because I bought a replacement one and didn't know this one was there. But the thing about veganaise is you can kind of just like keep scraping it forever and like it just always provides so okay so we are on the top level and here's the replacement mayonnaise i really like this this hellman's vegan my grandparents put me onto this my grandma bought me these a few weeks ago and i just know that oh look that's my fault just like this is my fault here is another freaking kimchi udon. I'll let this one ride out. This one time. You know the story with this. Where is the lid? Are you kidding? These, this is another like, I'm gonna be that fitness bitch. I was like, you know what I'm gonna eat? Fucking sprouts. So this is nasty. And these have gone bad because there was no lid on it. Oh, they're already expired, so. And this yogurt just went bad on the 12th. Maybe I could put it in a smoothie, but like the bottom is like, no, like I went bad, bad. 
Yeah, here's the difference between one I just got and this one. 911. Um, I just bought these leaves. They're still good. I'm gonna put them in the cooler though, where they need to be. In case John takes me to the zoo or something, I got a snack. Okay, you know how when you were a kid and your power would go out, your parents would be like, don't open the fridge, you're gonna let all the cold out. I'm gonna let my fridge chill for like 20 minutes because if my power went out, I would be fu So some time has passed, um, I made some orange juice and now it's time to do my freezer, which is the worst part of this whole thing. I think the fridge went fine. I think my fridge looks beautiful right now. Awesome, minimal. Fuckable. My freezer is scary and terrifying. I know that there are a ton of things in here that are just like, we're not gonna eat or they're past their prime. Like, I can say with confidence, like there's probably one or two things in here that came from my apartment. So I only have these bigger containers left, but I think like for what I'm going to do, at least one of these won't be too crazy in here. I think clear containers would be more KonMari appropriate. But like, anything at this point, you know? What I'm going to do is just start pulling things out and then organizing it. It's not gonna be as easy as my fridge just cause there's a ton of stuff in here. But wow, I bought these the other night. I'm so excited for these. This is like my biggest folly. Like this, like stop doing this bitch. Look, it's like two generations of crumbles, like current and freezer burn. These are impossible to find now. I can't find these at Wegmans. I can only get them at Target. And I really shouldn't tell you guys that because I told you guys about the ramen I eat. Now I can't find it anywhere. Leave me a bag. I found these at the dollar store. I was going to do a video about them, but that was like a whole year ago. So who only ate some of this? I got these last summer. These are from my apartment. Yeah, they expired in September. So these are like when John packs his lunch, but he hasn't packed his lunch in a while. They aren't expired, so I'm gonna put them like at the front of the fridge. I can't eat them, they're not vegan. It's all up to him. I keep my saboya in here. I like cooking with like frozen onions, so I get the like bag of frozen onions and just throw it the fuck in here and it works for me. I don't have to cut onions every time. The fridge, the freezer's pretty good. I didn't have any like crazy freezer blocks. I care about the temperature of my fridge and freezer, so it's something I adjust according to the season. Unlike my fridge, I'm actually gonna change the orientation of my freezer. There are two holes right here, so this could be one notch higher. Oh my God. When I tell you I'm that fix it, bitch. I think we have a lot more options now. I like to use frozen fruits. They're cheaper and they don't go bad in case I forget for like five days that I make smoothies. So I think this basket would be perfect for fruit. It's out of like everybody's way because I'm the only one who eats it. And if I'm making smoothies, I can just take the whole damn basket out. Next, I want to put like vegetables or like vegetable meal kits in a bag too, just because they tend to get neglected or just forgotten about. And there's something I reach for like when it's seven o'clock at night and it's time for me to whip something up. And I just have like a lot of them. It's Tupperware, cause like, let's be real. This will go further in here than it would down there. And I'm just gonna put in my like garden kits. This meatloaf is so good. For like a first in, first out sort of situation, this is good because this is open and this is open. I love this. That way I see it and I know that that's first and I'm just gonna put this unopened one behind it. 
Next, I have a ton of boxes. The meat I eat as a vegan comes in these boxes sometimes. These are really great for like sandwiches or just like add a little more protein to your meal. I love the Boca turkey burgers. They're so good with like, like an all American like peas and carrots kind of thing. So I love those. These actually are labeled on the bottom like this. So I think that they would work right down here. They're kind of like on the side labeled like this. So I think that that draws enough attention to it. You can see it. Here's another boxed thing from Aldi. I threw out some of these because I just like didn't vibe with them. They had freezer burn. Some of them, like you can hear that that is packaged inside of the box. But if you get these chicken ones, the chicken patties just look kind of loose in there. So they go bad quicker. So I do really want to try these. Next, I have these that like I want to eat right now, but put them in here. They're labeled, you can see it. These green beans should be in a Ziploc, they're not. I'm gonna put them in here, just as like a first in, first out sort of situation. Before I've thrown out a lot of just like random vegetables, just like thrown about. If I'm making them in a meal, generally this is how much is left over. So I think just putting this here just like lets me know that like I need to eat the rest of it this, this week. Same with this. So sometimes there's just one patty left. I'm gonna put that in here. Same like first in, first out kind of urgency. I just remember that Ryan bought me these like a hundred years ago because I've painfully always been the same person. These will be good to have in here. Ow! In the door, I just have some Another juice concentrate. I have some raviolis that I want to make like kind of immediately. So they're kind of in the door to be like, hey John, I want to eat these. Maybe putting those right there would help. I'm really impressed. The freezer is definitely like the bane of my existence when I'm cooking just cause it's so wild and out. And I think being able to just like pull all my vegetables and like meal kits out of here all at one time really helps me because like now I know I have two like soup kits like you can buy like a stew vegetable kit so I have two of those I have a vegetable medley and it's helpful for me to see all these things I can literally just pull this out oh no I forgot my sabuya she can just go right here so here is my finished fridge and freezer Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I know that my fridge is looking very sparse now and I think it's like maybe a very American thing to have a full fridge. Like if you remember MTV Cribs, they would always show what's in their fridge and having a huge fridge like full of food, I think like Reigns is like plentiful and important and put together and adult. Like there's always tweets where there's just like a juice box in the fridge and people are like, what are you doing? So honestly, for me, this is amazing. I think this will help me a lot when I grocery shop because there's not so much static and like craziness going on in here. I can have a clear, a clear mental image of exactly what is in my fridge now that I've gotten rid of a lot of the junk or things I thought I was going to eat, like that head of cabbage, like let's be real. So this just like helps me out plus it is clean i'm not ignoring a weird stain every time i look in the fridge and feel guilty my mind feels clear and i hope that this helps me with meal prep just eating better and not over buying food like even all of these fruits i noticed i had a couple doubles and i just like don't think that would be a problem if i didn't have like all my stuff everywhere like now I just can look at this, you know, make my list or write things down as I need to. And that I think will just really help me out. Honestly, the fridge looks really beautiful. I'm fully aware of everything I have and that will just help me with meal prep, which will help me with any anxiety of like, I don't know what I have. I don't know if I'm eating a vegetable tonight. Let's just go out to eat. Like now I know that I have like five courses of vegetables and you know four courses of protein 
some cheat meals everything is just like here and organized and that's exactly what I want I want to shop smaller and make fewer trips and just have a plentiful area of fridge if you guys like videos like this please give it a thumbs up if it has inspired you at all to clean out your fridge let me know if you have any tips if you recently you know figured out a system that works for you definitely let me know leave any of your feedback in the comments and if you're new here please subscribe if you want to check out my vlog channel I'll have that link below as well and in the end cards where I usually vlog anyway I love you guys so so much until next time bye